G'day everyone, Tim Thompson. Today, people are giving me presents. I love this. Steve Casamento, an engineer from Victoria, has come up with what he believes to be an ingenuitive and brand new approach to using either steel pipe or star pickets as an end assembly. So that means you can kiss goodbye all the digging of holes for temporary and low strain fences. I'm gonna set a couple of these up. I'm even gonna hang a gate off one of them and then we'll give them a bit of a test and see how strong they actually are before we run our fence wire. If you like this sort of video and you'd like to see more of it, please support the channel. Hit the little subscribe button down there. Give this a thumbs up. Let's get into it. So the plan today is to use this new product for two end assemblies. I'm going to put an end assembly on this existing star picket that's already in the ground and I'm going to run it down to another corner about 70 or 80 meters away. This has to be a temporary fence because the land that I'm on is multi-use and every November this fence is going to have to be pulled down. Perfect application for something that just uses star pickets and we don't have to drill any fence post holes. I want to see if I can use existing fence posts that are already there to start my end assembly and see if this product holds up with old rusted star pickets because if it does that it should be okay on the new stuff. So let's cut the existing fence off this star picket and let's get setting it up. Now I've cut the wires off and I've picked my shrapnel up out of the paddock, let's get started. Since I've got my existing post already, I'm going to run a ground wire down to the opposite corner and get everything nice and straight. So we'll run that out and we'll start with the assembly construction. So I'm going to cheat a bit today, I'm going to use the existing fence that comes up to the corner to give me my line of sight. If you're not coming up to an existing corner, just whack another post in. Whack it in where you want your end assembly and then you don't have to do it twice. That's reasonably tight, we're going to go up and give it a bit of a twang, make sure it's lying flat on the ground, then we can start marking out where we put our posts. Now we need to start measuring up to put in the new end assembly. But I don't need that. All I have to do is use the top brace to mark out where our posts go. Have a look at this. Now all I have to do is line up my top brace with my ground wire and my whole fence end assembly is measured ready to go. Now we have to assemble the end assembly. It starts with driving the post. Figure out which side of the fence we want our sheet mesh on. Kind of important at this stage. Put the holes in the star picket towards that side. Slide it into the other end of the top brace. Get it lined up with our ground wire. And pound away. Now that I've located my post properly, I can take the top brace off drill this post down to exactly the right height and I've got it all ready to assemble. So now we want to assemble our cross brace off the fence and simply then slide it onto the two star pickets and we're good to go. Join the two pieces of pipe that come in the kit. Use the bolts and nuts provided to connect them together, do them up and we'll slide them onto the poles. One thing I have figured out very quickly is that you've got to line up your sleeves on this side or nothing's going to work. Now all I have to do is slide this on so that I'm making my diagonal brace and have a look at that. As long as you're accurate with driving your star pickets and a long star picket driver is far better for OHS and it's far better for accuracy, have a look at this. She's just about set up. Now let's tie her off. So now we have to secure the top of the end assembly to the post. And we also have to secure this wire back onto the fence. So we're going to use a piece of normal fencing wire and the holes provided in this kit. Through the hole in my star picket, through the ho two holes provided in the top cap on this end assembly, bend one over the top, one underneath, use my twitcher and reattach my fence wire that's going to secure the top of this end assembly to the post. Mm -hmm. 
Let's go down the other end now and I'm going to demonstrate using galvanised pipe instead of star pickets when you hang a gate. So now we're down the other end and we're laying out to put a gate on this end. So we've got to make sure that we remember to measure our distance of the gate. I'm just going to use the gate. Once again, I don't need that. We use our top stay to figure out where our posts go. Now the gate can get out of the way and we can get down to business. So you can use any old galvanised pipe, but I'm using the actual fence stay galvanised pipe from Trigger Engineering. And this has actually got an end cut on the end of it to make it go into the ground even easier. It's purpose built, exactly the right length. Why not use the right stuff to begin with? Throw that in, get our measuring mark, hit it down a couple of times, take the stay off and away we go. Make sure you get the posts straight up and down, don't go with the land. You want your end assembly to be straight at the end of the day. Now that I've started my two posts, I'm going to take my top cross brace off, finish whacking them in, and then assemble the whole thing on the ground, same as last time. I like the fast, easy assembly of this method. As long as you lay your stuff out right on the ground, I reckon a kid could assemble this. We're going to use tech screws that come with the kit when you buy the poles and we're going to tech screw our end assembly to the poles. Just make sure that you leave enough room to drive the caps on at the end so you don't have any issues with animals or people injuring themselves on the top of the poles. So leaving about an inch spare, we want to drive in the tech screw. There we go, repeat three times. Now all there is left to do is just nip up the bolts that have been provided in the kit and our assembly is ready to go. So I reckon it's time we give this a test. What do you reckon? Let's have some fun. Let's see if this passes level one Hilux. Bugger me, that's pretty strong. Hubs are locked. All right, first time was in two wheel drive, this time is in four wheel drive. End assembly two, Hilux none. No nasty comments about Hiluxes, because you either drive a Hilux or you wish you did. And now comes the part of installing your bottom plate to hang the gate. I've got a slight downhill slope, so I'm just going a few fingers off the ground. Um, and I'm going to use the tech screws provided with the kit to install my bottom plate. Now, if you're not a fan of the idea of tech screws holding your gate up, you could use one tech screw and then just use that as a template to hold your plate, drill a big hole through and put a bolt in it. Or if you're really fancy, you could even weld this stuff. But I reckon your tech screws for a temporary fence, for a temporary gate, probably the way to go because they're easy to take apart and put together again. Quite honestly, I think this is the easiest gate install I've ever done. So we're just going to finish off our fence run now by re-tying and straining up our ground wire to the new end assemblies. If you want to know how to do this end knot, click the little link in the screen that should be up there now and that'll take you to how to do the end knot. So now that we've got our end assemblies in place, 
all I have to do is run out my star pickets at approximately five meter spacings all the way down the fence line wire her up and we're done Now that we've finished down the other end, we come back to our original posts and I just secure the inside top of our original end assembly with a twitch onto the top wire and that's going to hold the whole end assembly in place. There's no vertical strain on this at all, so it's a very safe and very secure method of attaching the top of the first end assembly. So there you have it, Fence Day, available at fencedaycomau Fantastic new product. It'll turn either your steel pipe or your star pickets into an end assembly. I don't think this is useful for every single application in agriculture, but I can think of a whole heap of temporary uses, I can think of permanent uses, and I can think of hobby farmers who'd be really attracted to a product that requires no specialist skills and no specialist tools to use. This is the sort of product that's homegrown that we should support. I can't see many things wrong with this. Um, I've actually really enjoyed using it and it saved me a lot of time today. So well done to the guys at fencedaycomau Thank you for sending me this. As a first out of the box, brand new product that's just been through R&D, I think it's actually really good, really worthwhile. I pulled on this with a ute in four wheel drive with a 12,000 pound winch. This post, still perfectly fine. This one, attached to the gate, did get a little bit wobbly. That's probably more the function of the diameter of the, of the pipe that we've used that fits these sleeve brackets. Now there's good news there. They're coming out with a larger sleeve bracket so you can actually use a larger diameter pipe with their brand new product. And that should overcome the wobbliness if you ever decide to tie your fence to a car and go for a drive. So I reckon it's going to stand up to most knocks and most hits that these sort of fences are going to get on a farm. So that's a good start. It's pretty sturdy. Fit and finish wise, I like that the holes that you have to use to make any attachments are all pre-drilled. I like the fact that you get the bolts and the nuts with the kit. You don't have to buy anything extra. So guys, I've got an exciting announcement. I'm launching a brand new website today. If you like products like this and you want a, one location to go and find out all about all of the things that I feature on the channel, all of the stories I have on the channel, all of the videos, this website's for you. I'd like to thank the guys from Spiral Fast for helping me set up the website. And as such, I'm doing a giveaway for the first five people that sign up to my new website. You'll be posted out a a trial pack of Spiral Fast to give a go on your property. I'm really excited about what we're doing here and we're bringing together people who are positive about agriculture, true entrepreneurs and great products all in the one place. I hope you have a look at the website. Until next time, like and subscribe. No idea how much it helps and I'll see you around the traps.